Hello everyone, I am Sumant and I will be presenting our work on image restoration for under display cameras. The under display camera challenge sought efficient and high performing solutions for a blind image restoration task. It comprised of two tracks, each with a different display panel. The Pentile OLED or POLED display has a Pentile pixel layout with a low transmission rate and the images are degraded due to low light, color shift and noise. The transparent OLED or TOLED display has a stripe pixel layout with a relatively higher transmission rate and suffers only from blur and noise. The challenges in restoring UDC images include the need for high resolution processing since the images are of size 1024 cross 2048 and this would be even higher for high-end phones that use OLED displays. POLED measurements are also highly degraded, precluding the use of learning-based methods that operate on small image patches since they lack sufficient context for faithful restoration. Downsampling blocks used in typical convolutional neural networks are also not suitable due to the loss of valuable information which is needed for the dense prediction task. Thus, there is a need for solutions that scale with resolution and also incorporate large receptive fields efficiently. Our method, titled Deep Atros Guided Filter, directly operates on the megapixel images and performs restoration in two stages. The low resolution network or LRNet first restores a downsampled version of the input. It employs multiple parallel atros convolutions and maintains spatial resolution throughout. The guided filter network enables our method to be efficient without a drop in performance. It uses the restored low resolution output as a filtering input and provides the high resolution output via joint upsampling. The two components are trained end to end. We further employ a simple simulation scheme to further boost performance. The low resolution network or LRNet operates on the downsampled input XL and uses pixel shuffle to increase receptive field while also being memory efficient. The building block of LRNet is our ATROS residual block which consists of parallel ATROS convolutions with different dilation rates imitating multi-scale processing. We further use a gated attention mechanism which combines low level and high level features. Finally, we have another pixel shuffle layer to get the final low resolution output YL. We now further detail the structure of our ATROS residual block. The ATROS residual block consists of four smooth ATROS convolutions tagged in parallel. We use smooth ATROS convolutions proposed by Chen and others comprising of a shared separable convolution followed by an ATROS convolution layer. This helps avoid gridding artifacts seen in plain ATROS convolutions. We also use channel attention and pixel attention layers which helps in tending to highly degraded parts in the image. Our trainable guided filter network is inspired by Wu and others. It transforms the low resolution input XL into a guidance map GL using the transformation F. The output of LRNet YL is fed as filtering input while GL serves as a guide image. We first use a filter FMU to calculate first order moments YL bar and GL bar as well as the second order moments of GL and YL. These are then used in order to obtain coefficients AL and BL. These coefficients form the parameters of a local linear model given by YL bar equals AL times GL plus BL. In this case, the coefficients are estimated per pixel. Thus, the grid of coefficients AL has the same size as the filtering input YL. Once obtained, AL and BL are bilinearly upsampled to get AH and BH from which the final output is got by a linear transformation of the high resolution guide image GH. The components F, FMU and FLocal 
are all implemented as trainable convolutional blocks. Please refer to our paper for more details. The datasets used in this challenge are obtained via monitor acquisition of images from the DIV 2K dataset. The ground truth images are acquired by placing a glass panel in front of a camera, while the OLED images are captured using the respective display panels. We hereby refer to the ground truth images as glass. Our simulation scheme involves learning the transformations from clean DIV 2K images to glass, TOLED, and POLED. Since modeling the capture using Fennel propagation can be inaccurate, we simply use a shallow variant of our network, DAGF, for learning each of the transformations. However, the glass and DIV 2K images are not aligned, precluding the use of a direct pixel wise loss. Thus, we employ contextual bilateral loss proposed by Zhang and others in order to account for the small misalignments present. Here we show a few results from our simulation scheme. As you can notice, our simulated results closely match the ground truths for POLED, TOLED, and GLASS. Our final networks are pre-trained using the simulated data for all the 800 images in the DIV 2K dataset. This enables faster convergence and provides around 0.5 dB gain in performance. Here, we compare our results with three baseline networks. PANet or Pyramid Attention Network is a recent non-local method that achieves state-of-the-art performance in image denoising and super-resolution. DGF refers to the deep-guided filter proposed by Wu and others, while UNet is a variant of the original UNet structure with two sub-encoders. Our model is able to significantly outperform all three baselines, and this holds true even without pre-training. Here, we show another result on the POLA dataset. Here as well, DAGF significantly outperforms the baselines. One can also observe line artifacts in the patch-based methods PNet and UNet due to the patch-wise evaluation strategy used. Although these can be removed by simply using overlapping patches, we show that this would lead to a drop in PSNR. Other strategies, such as a single forward pass on the entire image, are also not optimal. Please refer to the paper and the supplementary for more details. Here, we showcase our results on the TOLA dataset. In this case, with relatively low levels of degradation, the baselines perform much better. However, our method still achieves superior performance in terms of PSNR and better visual quality. Here is another result on the TOLED dataset. Here we show a plot of memory consumed during training for our method and the baselines. The guided filter framework enables our method to be efficient. Patch-based methods such as PNet show exorbitant memory usage with increase in patch size while DAGF scales well with resolution. Although DGF occupies lesser memory than our method, it is inferior in performance as seen before. Here are the results in the UDC challenge for both the tracks. Plus indicates self-ensembling used. Our method achieves second place in the POLA track while placing fifth in the TOLA track. Thus, DAGF proves to be highly effective in restoring degraded POLED measurements. Further improvements in architecture can be explored for the TOLED case. In this work, we present DAGF, a two-stage restoration network that uses atrus convolutions in conjunction with a guided filter. It operates directly on the megapixel images and aggregates context over large receptive fields. We believe that further research on efficient and quality reconstruction algorithms would aid in more widespread adoption of UDC imaging.